<laughs> Alright guys, so it's been two weeks, probably two weeks and some days since I pressed oil off my nose. Before the time I pressed off oil off my nose, it was two months ago. I didn't press oil off my nose for over two months and I tried it and you know, I saw oil still in my nose and today I want to just try after two weeks, you know, to see if it's still so much oil or less oil than before. I want to just see if the oil production in my nose is too much or just understand if it's meant to just be ritual thing where when I notice clogged oil in my nose, I just have to press it out and um, you know, clean off my face, wash off my face afterwards and I want to just understand if it's just like urinating in the toilet or going to boo-boo in the toilet, you know, like when you just feel like or you know, it's actually reducing the oiliness of my nose. However it is, I want you guys to experience it with me. So it's been two weeks and some days. And right now I'm about to press all of my nose. Let's see what we have in it, right? So I'm gonna get my finger gloves and get it ready. All right, let's get it, let's get it. All right, so I, who could guess the anime character of my glove? I just get some character, design my glove and, anyways, um, let's get into it. All right, so. All right, so in conclusion, um, I realized the middle of my nose area is no longer popping up too much oil, but the sides are the most oily sides of my nose, part of my nose, obviously. So I still have much oil coming out. However, I tried five days afterwards the last time and I got nothing, I got very little quantity. So I guess still two weeks afterwards, it's still, you know, bringing out some large amount on the sides. So yeah in conclusion i feel like it's just like going to the toilet you know or you know excreting out excess you know dead or um substance in your nose and like i said however doing this has made my nose less black eddy i don't have blackheads on my nose no more and pimples on my nose pff, never so if i'm to say is there a result or is there a usefulness of doing this, I'll say yes, there is because at the end of the day, I'm not having those things I used to have no more on my nose. And yeah, some people have been asking me to try oil on my forehead. I don't have oil on my forehead, but however, I feel if you want to try that, you should probably squeeze like this. Uh, okay, guys, look at my forehead, it's so clear. It's not really. I think the only time I will ever want to try and push out anything like oil in my forehead is pimples, right? And the other part I know there's something is my chin with this oil. Hmm. Now I get it up. So after doing all this, I get my wipes and I clean up. So let's get the wipes. Wipes here. Out. In the egg. All right, it doesn't hurt at all, and that's if you do it gently. You don't have to try to get it all squeezed all like. No, you're gonna break your nose. You know, you're gonna hurt yourself. You're gonna bruise it. Yes, you have lines in your nose. Do it gently. Foom, out. Foom, out. Don't try to get it all out. I mean, when you use the toilet, do you try to get your anus out? So why are you trying to, why are you trying? Really? All right, so yeah, I hope this helps someone out there. That's why daddies and mommies is very oily nose. Trust me, it works more on other than on kids, okay? So kids don't really try to be killing yourself over this. You might not have this at all, okay? So yeah, more on adults, like I always say. And afterwards you could wash your face. I'm going to have my bath now, so I'll definitely scrub my face and get everything cleaned up and you're good for the 
you know, for the week or for the two weeks of your life or a month. If you want to have it for a month, you know, it's always going to be there. It's going to be too much. You know, if it's there always, it's going to make your nose sweaty and all this kind of stuff. And what I've noticed that if I don't press oil of my nose, what happens is I realize that it's like the skin, the skin is on my nose peeling off. But I realize it's not a skin. It's actually the sebaceous filament, the oil laying on my nose. And it looks like the skin is, my nose is peeling. Then I have to, you know, use tissue or wipes to, you know, get it off. I, I, I believe some people have experienced that on their nose, especially those that have oily nose. Not everybody will, but those with oily nose will experience this. So if you are that person, yes, your nose is very early. The sebaceous filaments in your, in your nose is already clogged, it's filled up, and trust me, you have to press it out. If not all, a little, press it out and you feel a relief. Sometimes my nose feel like it's always buzzing. Trust me. Then I do it. It's not like every day, but there'll be one time I just feel like it's buzzing. And I check it, I see that layer, be like try to clean up. Then once I press, I'm like, oh, ooh, ooh. Then I wipe and I wash my face. And we're good, okay? So it's not a bad thing. It's not gonna kill nobody. It's not gonna pull line on your nose. Look at my nose, beautiful. My nose is a beauty. So yeah, get into it, guys. Get into it. And if you don't want to, don't. If you don't need it, don't, please, don't, don't try it. And stop commenting that you broke your nose. I know you didn't break your nose, but I'm sure I'll see comment. Anyway, share this to someone that has an oily nose, excessive oily skin. Let them know what's up. See you on the next one, guys. Bye.